has been at least a month since I've made a recording. Uh, let's see, I've been traveling and I've been homesick. If you can't tell, I have um, a little bit of a cold right now. I was on the couch for about three days. Couldn't get anything done at all. So um, I had to, I felt better this morning when I woke up and I had to run some errands. I had to go up to Marlette, Michigan and drop off some quilts, some samples, uh, work that I've uh, had published. And I took it up to a quilt shop, Sisters in Quilting in Marlette, Michigan. And I will be, I will be the guest speaker at the Mayville Quilt Guild in April for their luncheon. So um, one of their guild members works at that quilt shop, Sisters in Quilting. So I drove up there and dropped off my work. And on my route, though... I made a stop at another quilt shop. I found out that there was a new baby lock dealer in the area. And so I looked it up online and found out it's called Decorative Stitch. And she is at 22 Mile in Van Dyke in the Little Caesars Plaza in Shelby Township. So I drove over there and walked in. I wanted to see what the, you know, what their showroom was like. And the quilt shop, not only do they have baby lock sewing machines. Oh my goodness. Her fabric line is wonderful. And you know what else is really neat? I've never seen this at another shop is that above the fabric shelves, she has, they're labeled what manufacturer it is. So if you know, you're looking for uh Moda, she's got it labeled. Um, so anyway, long story short, I loved it in this shop. Absolutely loved it. So hopefully I will be able to visit it more. Uh, she had a great selection and her baby lock machines. Wow. And her classroom, really nice size classroom. It was very friendly in there. So give the, the shop a visit. Again, it's at 22 Mile. It's on 22 Mile in Van Dyke in the Little Caesars Plaza. I believe there's a bank on the corner. So if you're in the area, go give it a, go, go stop by and shop and say hi. So anyway, let's see what else is going on. Um, Tomorrow morning, I get to watch my little Miss Anna, my little granddaughter. Uh, her mommy has to work tomorrow morning. So I'm going to watch her while mommy has to work. And then uh, I believe... Most of my sons are going to be gone tomorrow and, of course, Sunday's church. But this past week, yeah, I had a cold. Um, I have a customer's quilt on the long arm machine, and I only worked on it for a little while Monday, and it started hitting me, the cold did, Monday afternoon. And I don't know why I did this, but I didn't take my vitamins. That's my fault. I didn't take my vitamins for three days. I got out of uh, my normal routine, and sometimes that just happens, so... Uh, lesson learned. Don't get out of your routine. Stay in it. Keep those vitamins, you know, pumping in your body, eat healthy and, you know, do all that good stuff <laughs> and wash your hands and sanitize. <laughs> so, alrighty. Well, it is time for me to go. So I haven't sewn since Monday and that it's on the long arm machine. And I have a couple projects that I need to get uh, prepared. So uh, let's see, what is my next big adventure? I'm trying to get all my customer quilts done so that I can visit uh, Pigeon Forge Mountain Quilt Fest. And then I, if I get to go, I'm hoping I get everything done so that I can go because I don't like it when I leave and I still have work that needs to be done that just weighs on me because honestly, I could stay home and get the work done. So, you know that, what is that old adage? Um, what is it? Uh, no work and no play. And now I don't remember the rest of it. <laughs> What is that thing? So anyway, uh, let's see. So if I get to go there, then I come home like the Sunday after the show's over with and I only get to stay home for a couple days. And then I'm going to the Cleveland show, the original Sewing and Quilting Expo. I'll be working in the Accomplished Quilting booth with Anova. And let's see, who else is going to be there? Oh, I'm supposed to meet an editor of uh, Fonz and Porter. She and I have emailed back several times because I've had several quilts uh, published with them. And uh, I have never met her, only, you know, email back and forth. And I think maybe once or twice we've talked on the phone. So I'm excited to meet her. I get to put, you know, a face with the voice and the email. And uh, I, I'm really, I'm really, really excited about that. And, 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 guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I get to see Jill and we get to do some escapades. Uh, <laughs> um, if you live in the Erie, Pennsylvania area, or you're going to be driving by there, 
um, she will be at the show with me that weekend of the original Sewing and Quilting Expo in Cleveland. But if you're in the area where her shop is, Tada Quilting Studio, stop by and um, test drive an Innova, okay? And maybe rent the machine. Um, just stop by and say hi. All right, it's time to get moving. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. And, um, oh, I bought one of these little uh, Chase Lounge things that stand your phone up. <laughs> it's really cute. So that's what I got my phone propped up on now so I can talk to you. Well, everybody have a wonderful weekend. And um, if you see me at a quilt show, I'm usually with Accomplice Quilting. Um, if I'm at Mountain Quilt Fest, I will be with Elaine's Attic Quilt Shop there out of uh, Landrum, South Carolina. I get to teach there sometimes. And, uh, well, also I have, or I quilted two quilts for a friend of mine, Dorinda Evans. And um, it was the one quilt, if you remember seeing it, I stitched out some peacocks and hummingbirds and all kinds of doodles all over it. And um, that's, that's a pretty awesome quilt. I did post it on Facebook when I did it. Uh, but not the whole quilt, just my work. But those quilts are supposed to be hanging up at Mountain Quilt Fest. So I really want to go see them and um, surprise Dorinda because um, she never checks Facebook. <laughs> so uh, maybe that I've mentioned her. Maybe somebody will go tell her in Mississippi, hey, Dorinda, you need to go on Facebook. Nancy's going to try to come to Mountain Quilt Fest. I hope I can. I haven't seen her in, in over a year and it would be fun to see her. She's from Mississippi. Alrighty, everybody. Have a great weekend. Happy sewing. Stay safe. Stay warm. And we will catch up with you later. Bye.